Yeah, hi friends. This is Ajit Kumar from Chennai. So today we're going to see how to install Elasticsearch on Windows. So for that, first I'm going to download Elasticsearch in Chrome. So I'm just downloading Elasticsearch. So we can see the links for downloading the Elasticsearch. I'm just opening that. So from here we can select different platforms like Windows, Mac, and Linux. So currently I'm using the Windows. So I'm selecting Windows now and then click on download buttons. So it started downloading. So already have downloaded in my local machine. So I don't want to download again. So in from your case, you have to download completely without pausing. So make sure your downloaded file should be present in the downloaded directory. So already once it's downloaded, just copy that zip file and then you have to navigate to jam docs and then from here you have to paste and extract that whatever zip file you have downloaded from the browser so already have extracted here so you can see the elastic search folders so yeah now the package is ready so now we have to run the elastic search in your local machines so first we have to start the jam Okay, I'm starting Apache and until the filezilla. So we have to wait until the port has been generated. Yeah, still, yeah, it's done. Okay, I'm just minimizing this. So again, I'm going to the browser. So from here, we can see some how to start the Elasticsearch. So for that, we have to run bin slash Elasticsearch or else bin slash Elasticsearch dot bat on terminals. So okay, I'm just go here. So just open your terminal so I'm using the git bash so that is comfortable for me so once I click on the folders and then I will create or open the terminals it's automatically come to the particular directory so as per the command that mentioned in the document I'm just copy this and then I will paste it in the terminals I'm just click enter so it's showing bin slash elastic search is not been present okay I'm just entered wrongly so we need to remove this as this okay i'm wrongly entered that backslash so now it's fine so it will take a uh, 10 to 20 seconds to start the elastic search so meanwhile i'm just come to the browsers just opening localhost and this is the port that we are using in windows to start the elastic search let's wait so the still it's loading on so it will take 10 to 20 seconds so once all the it's done right then automatically this should load and it will generate some JSON formats so let's wait for 10 to 20 seconds to complete this okay let's reload this it will give JSON format to us yeah, it's still something is going on. Let's wait. Okay, let me check here now. Yeah, now JSON has been generated. So now we can come to know that. So we are using the name as laptop, whatever the name, and the cluster name should be Elasticsearch. And then we're using this someone 14.1 that has been downloaded from my local machine so if you are download the latest packet then the latest version id you can see it here so now the elastic search is running then we are good and we are successfully installed elastic search in our local machines and yeah so if you are i think this could be very useful for you to install elastic search in your local machines so why because nowadays the elastic search is very common that we have to install in your local machines for running e-commerce websites Hope this will helpful for you so if you really like this so please like if you have any comments so you can add the you can feel free to add the comments so even most probably i will be available here so i will reply to your comments so if you want more videos related to magento you can post in the comments and that will encourage me to post on more videos over here thank you so much and if you want more videos please subscribe my channel thank you so much bye bye